Good morning to all my wonderful viewers out there. Welcome back to another episode of Sneaker Talk where I talk about the latest sneaker news, sneaker releases, and just sneakers in general. In today's episode, we've got a pretty big episode planned ahead of us. We've got to talk about a couple sneakers that are releasing, and it's all part of a Monday program, a Kith Monday program. I was quite surprised by that, but yeah, wow, well, we're getting a lot. So, in today's episode, we're going to be talking about the three Japanese-inspired ASICS Gel Light 3s that are releasing as part of this Kith Monday program. Yeah, you heard me right, guys. Uh, we are getting three sneakers, three ASIC Gel Light 3s releasing this Monday, which is today for me, but for you guys, because everyone's going to be behind in the, t in the time zones and everything like that, it's going to be tomorrow, or at least now for you guys. God, time zones are confusing. Either way, this Monday program is going to release on Monday the 27th of July. To confuse anyone there, so there you go. Regardless of time zone, that is the day it's dropping. Although for me, it's not, never mind, we're not going to dive into that. <laughs> time zones are too confusing. Monday the 27th, 11am Eastern Standard Time, we are getting three gel light threes, how crazy is that, that are inspired by Japan. Now, or more specifically Tokyo, but... I'm going to leave it at Japan, the Japanese inspired. Uh, what was the original plan was that obviously the, you know, Tokyo Olympic Games were meant to be happening around this time period if it wasn't for coronavirus. But unfortunately, it has been pushed back to 2021 if the virus isn't going on. We still got to put that into consideration. If the virus isn't going on, the Olympics will go ahead. But obviously, a lot of brands like Kif, a lot of other brands that are doing, you know, Olympic... Um, designed and inspired collections they probably had their whole year set out on what they were going to do and what collections they were going to release and obviously kith planned to release all of these monday programs to coincide with the olympic games but with the olympic games being delayed obviously ronnie fire can't tell asics yo hold up the uh, olympics has been delayed we need you to delay all of those asics gel light threes that you made for us they obviously couldn't do that so they have been made they are getting released it's okay though you could rock these for a year and then in 2021 when the olympic games actually happens <laughs> you could you could wear them you could wear them you could be you know a year early but yeah in today's video we're going to be covering all the release details all the official images and of course your boys thoughts and opinions on all three of the colorways here now, if you want me to cover more upcoming Kith releases, more Kith in general, don't forget to leave a big old like on this video, comment in the comment section down below, and subscribe to the channel as we are trying to aim for 2,445 subs by the end of July. We've only got a couple days left, guys, but I feel like if we share the channel around, you guys subscribe today, I think we can hit that milestone by the end of July. Let's move on though, let's move on. Let's head on over to Kith's Instagram where we'll cover all the release details, have a look at all the images of the upcoming release of the three Japanese inspired Gel Light 3s that are releasing as part of Kith's July 27th Monday program. Ta-da! <laughs> Here they are. Here they are. Done in a very classic Kith photo shoot way. Displaying all three, we have colorway number one, colorway number two, and colorway number three over there. Now they have been given names. Which name correlates with which colorway? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> we'll dive into all the release details first and then I'll try and make my guesses on which one is which. But I legitimately have no idea um, which, color, which colorway out of those three colorways that I've got highlighted here correlate with which shoe there. We'll just have to see though. So, Ronnie Feig for the Asics Gel Light 3. Tokyo Trio. There you go. That's a nice little name. The Tokyo Trio. That's a nice little name for them. All three models are inspired by different elements of Tokyo. The 252.1, uh, interesting colorway name. The Super Gold. Uh, is this the Gold or is this the Super Gold? Surely this is the Super Gold. This, is, this looks like a Super Gold one over here. And the, is it the Yoshino? Yoshino, Yoshino, Rose, which I assume is the middle one. So then is the 252.1 this one? I have no idea. <laughs> that's my guess. That's my guess. I'm probably wrong, but that's my guess. I, I have an idea. So the 
Dot one's got to be the first one. Oh no, but that doesn't work. No. Mm, okay, I was gonna say maybe it's done by first one is this one, second one is this one, and third one is that final one on the corner. But the, it can't be the rose one with no rose on it. I don't know, man. They're, they're, there's all three. We'll have more photos. We'll dive into them. Releasing this Monday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Kiss.com. All info via link in bio. Oh, I probably should have got the link in bio. <laughs> Probably should have gotten a link in the bio and read it there. Well, you know what? We always look at the Instagram posts, so, you know, we can't break tradition, but maybe after this video, I'll go have a look into it and have a look um, into which one's which. But here they are. Here is the three Gel Light 3s. With this one reminding me a lot of the Ronnie Feig Salmon Toe one, because of the, you know, Salmon Toe there. Um, yeah, that one's a very wild color there. But let's have a look at these other images here and dive into it. So... Oh, that's a cool photo shoot as well. And it's got Feig in it. I bet you this one has Ronnie, so then it's Ronnie Feig. Or maybe it's Asics and then Feig in the inner soul there. It kind of looks like Asics in there. Uh, moving on, we have, there's all three colorways showcased there. Out of all three, if you said, Daniel, you have to wear one, which one are you going to wear? I'm kind of feeling this one over here with the gold Asics logo there. It's kind of nice. There's not too much color going on on the upper. All the crazy colors on that outsole there. You can see it on the outsole. So it's really easy to wear. I like this one because it's really versatile. The middle one, yeah, it's not bad. I wouldn't get that third one. The, the salmon toe is just a... It's a little bit too much for me there. Oof. Look at it. Gets a photo shoot in its own. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh my god, it gets a zoom in as well. Okay, so there you go. You have the lacing system. You have that very shiny ASICS logo made of what looks like a very nice Nubuck suede there. That's nice. This is going to be very high quality. You know, Kith being Kith, they're going to release it in a very nice quality. It's got fire written on the inside there. I assume ASICS on the other side. Well, okay, so there we go. We have another colorway being showcased to us. Which I, this was, this was my favorite. This one was done with leather by the looks of it. Yeah, it looks like leather on this one. So it's not suede like the salmon toe one. So they have different uses of different materials there on each of the colorways. That's kind of cool, you know, change it up a little bit. I like that. I like that. Um, yeah, I would say that this one's probably my favorite. Yeah, the white leather one. The white leather one. We've got this one. I think this one is suede. It's slightly gray at the back as well. This one kind of looks kind of suede-y. Yeah, it looks like it's got a combination, so that looks like suede along here. That's a nice pink though. Very subtle. Doesn't 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 isn't pronounced there. Oh, you got Fire done in embroidery on this one. I mean it makes sense. They couldn't really do embroidery on um suede and leather very easily, so having it on a mesh here makes it a lot uh, makes it understandable that they decided to do embroidery on it. And there's the three boxes there. So you get Ronnie Feig Asics done multiple times in like a monogram kind of print all over the box that's kind of cool that's kind of cool i like that that's nice well that is it guys that is all three of the colorways that are releasing um what we can potentially do now is we can actually head over to the article that they were specifying and talking about there get a little skim read to see which colorway is which and see what it is there i think we should do it we should head on over just to have a look so here's the three colorways showcased in the instagram shoot uh, we'll head on over now to the news article on kit's website and have a little skim read there to see if we can get any more release details to do with it Okay, so here we are at the article, uh, Kith X Asics Gel Light 3 Tokyo Trio. So let's have a little skim read to see if we can get some more release details there. So, Runny Fire continues his long established relationship with Asics to design three new versions of the iconic Gel Light 3s. All three sneakers derive inspiration from different elements of Tokyo, a continuing celebration of Kith's recently opened flagship store, which we didn't cover the Kith Air Forces. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to just. I'm going to have to do something like this, guys. So what I'll do is I will record this video. I will go to work. I will come home. I will record. I will edit and upload this video. And then I will force myself to try and at least record the Kith Air Force video or the Kith Summer 2020 video. We got to do it. We got to do it um, because we need to talk about that on the channel. But yes, understandably, to celebrate the uh, flagship store opening in Tokyo and also the Olympic Games. Uh, I can understand that they would want um, this pack to come out. Very, very cool. 
The Gel Light 3 252.1 shoe is Feig's reimagination of his first ever collaboration back in 2007, known as the 252 Pack. The original colorway was inspired by a Tokyo exclusive colorway that Feig wanted to bring stateside. This new rendition re uh, refrains elements of the original color palette, but through a modern lens. The primarily black upper features a premium nubuck with metallic gold leather and ASIC stripes and a pigskin suede red toe. Oh, so these boys were the 252s. Oh, they come with different laces. Damn, look at this. You get an absolute deal with these ones. Yeah, you get different laces and stuff. You get red and blue laces. They are really going all out for this collaboration. Well, there you go. Okay, so now we know. These boys are the 252s. Moving on. The Gel Light 3, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right. Yoshino Rose Sneaker takes its name from the Yosh uh, Yoshino Cherry Tree. Ah, oh, I know the one. Yep, yep, yep. Otherwise known as the Sakura Tree which is known in Tokyo for its beautiful cherry blossoms, the iconic tree. During the cherry blossom season, these trees bloom into a stunning shade of light pink and are celebrated in Japan. I honestly love Japanese culture. It's crazy, man. They're just, it's just, it just seems like a wonderful place. This model features a white mesh vamp and leather toe wrap. This is overlaid with soft pink, um, soft off-white pigskin suede panels and rose gold tiger stripes. Okay. Rose gold colored tiger stripes. So is this, is it this one? I think it is this one. The rose gold tiger. Yeah, it's got to be. It's got to be, right? This has got to be the uh, cherry blossom one that they were talking about there. Even though it doesn't really actually have a lot of the colors to do with it. We've got different colored laces and stuff like that. There is a lot more photos on here. This is really, really good. So Feig, Asik on the insoles. This one's really nice. The gold one is actually a lot nicer now that I get this extra photo shoot. I just can't do the 252s though. This colorway is just too wild. <laughs> this one though, I could do this one. The gold isn't that flashy. You could do it. It's a nice rose gold, isn't it? Um, moving on though, we'll move on to the final colorway, which has got to be the super gold. Um, oh no, wait. Goes with red and black at all. No, wait. Is it? Or have I mixed them up? I think I've mixed them up. I think I've mixed them up. I'm an idiot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I have mixed them up. So, the uh, cherry tree, yeah, yeah, yeah. This model features a white mesh vamp leather toe wrap that is overlaid with soft off-white pigskin weight panels and rose colored tiger stripes oh not rose gold rolls colored so it's this one okay so that is the, wow they've, they've mixed me up with the photo shoot there so the that makes a ton of sense i'm an idiot yoshino rose is the uh, final colorway here which is this one done with the red and blue color palette on the outsole with the white in the middle uh making it very united states on the bottom but very japanese on the top that's cool that's cool that's well done comes with multiple different laces red blue and the pink the blossom tree flowers are and then finally we have no sorry lastly we have the gel light super gold sneaker is a nod to the events that were scheduled to take place in tokyo this year but have now been pushed to next year so the olympics this model uses premium white leather that is in uh with the entirety of upper metallic gold leather tiger stripes and color blocked red and navy outsoles there you go so these joints here they don't look very red and navy though for the for the uh gold yeah doesn't look very uh, red and navy to me but maybe i'm colorblind <laughs> there you go so that's all three of them there man i should have gone to the article first this article was way better than the instagram post uh, what does it have to say? All three models also feature uh, Ronnie Fire branding in the front um, of the gel logo on the split tongues and footbeds come in custom boxes with extra laces. The Ronnie Feig X Asic Gel Light 3 Tokyo Trio releases this Monday 27th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on kith.com. The only kith shops that will carry this release are the Tokyo flag uh, flagship and yeah, a couple other stores as well. Each pair will retail for 285 Australian dollars. So what's that in USD? That's like 
like around 170, I want to say. Tell you what, if you want to find out what your retail price is, I will link this article down in the description section below, and then you guys can click on it and find out what your retail price is there. But um, yeah, 285 Australian dollars. Woo, that's expensive. But so is all sneakers when you buy them in Australian dollars. <laughs> <laughs> all good sneakers cost a lot of money in Australian dollars but yeah this isn't this is a wild collaboration the wild little Monday program this is bigger than a couple of the Monday programs we got released recently recently um if you got the full track suit from last week and rock these that would be a vibe that would be a vibe uh, out of all three colorways I don't think I can do the two five twos this one is just too crazy the the pink salmon toe over here it's just too much for me i wouldn't be able to wear that one uh the second colorway which is actually the final colorway which is the super golds the super golds with the super gold on it should have figured that one out uh yeah that one's really nice i really like the colors on this one the gold isn't too crazy although maybe that's just because i'm looking at the photos right now maybe if i actually like have it in hand it's going to be like super super gold uh this one's not too bad i would wear something like this it's not too bad Moving on, finally, we have, uh, I think this one is the one that stays true to the collaboration the most, which is the, what is it, the second colorway, which is the Yoshino Rose. Um, Japanese on the upper with the, you know, um, flowers color done on the ASICS logo, and then American on the bottom with the uh, red, white, and blue outsole that you can see there. I think that's a really, really good way of handling it. Have the American side on the bottom and then have the, to uh, the Tokyo side on the top. That's really cool. That's really, really cool. And of course you get all the um, different colored laces. You get the red and blue laces to symbolize America and you get the pink laces to symbolize uh, Tokyo. That is really, I, I like this one. I think this one's the best one. I think, yeah, the, the Yoshino Rose one, that's the best one. It really symbolizes Kith and Tokyo coming you know together that collaboration there that you know or that use of both of those cultures put together america and japan put together i like this this is nice yeah that's all three of them though guys that is all of them i'm actually glad that we did go over this article as well <laughs> and the photo shoot uh, jumbled me up so these are the two five twos these are the super golds and these are the uh yoshino rose uh over here so What's your favorite one, guys? What's your favorite one? Between for me, it's between the uh, the gold and the rose ones. But uh, the gold and the rose ones, I'm not really feeling the two five twos as much. But maybe you disagree. Maybe you absolutely love this, you know, contrast of really salmony pink on the toe and then black and gold on the uh, mid to back on the upper there. Maybe you really like that. That's totally fair. Let me know. Let me know what your favorite one that is releasing this Monday is. Uh, which one you're looking to pick up if you are looking to pick any of them up good luck honestly this thing is going to be botted to hell on kit's web store um let me know let me know all your thoughts and opinions on this tokyo trio uh what your favorite one is what your least favorite one is will you be picking any of them up let me know let me know all your thoughts and opinions on twitter facebook instagram or as always down in that comment section below <laughs> that's it guys that is all the release details i'm glad that we covered the instagram post and the article i think that was a good move i think that was a good move uh crazy crazy monday program three asics gel light threes that we are getting released this monday july 27th uh out of all of them i reckon two out of three of them appeal to me because the versatility it's really easy to wear them that first one the 252 with the salmon toe not as versatile as i would want it to be so i don't think i'd pick that one up just because it'd be a little bit harder to wear um i mean not that any of these shoes are going to be released in my size anyway <laughs> but i wanted to cover it for you guys because maybe you guys are super interested in these uh what do you think what do you think what's your favorite one will you be picking it up how do you feel about kith's you know uh asics collaborations do you like them do you hate them you're gonna pick them up let me know let me know all your thoughts and opinions on the Tokyo Trio ASICs that are releasing this Monday, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Do you like them? Do you hate them? Let me know. Let me know down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to cover upcoming Kith releases, uh, upcoming Kith Monday programs, upcoming Kith collections, don't forget to leave a big old like on this video, comment in the comment section down below, and then subscribe to the channel as we are trying to aim for 2,445 subs by the end of July. 
Hopefully we can hit it, but I mean, it's up to you guys. We've only got like less than five subs to go, a couple days to go. Hopefully we can hit that by the end of July. But that's everything I got to say about them. I'm so sorry that we I got muddled up with the colorways and stuff like that. It was a little bit confusing. I was trying to read it and also be like, which one is it? Which one? Blah, blah, blah. There we go. We got it eventually. That's all of them releasing. That's all the release details. If you want to know your retail price before they drop, head on down in that description section below, click on that article, and then it'll convert the retail price to whatever your uh, currency is there. It's actually really, really handy how Kip does that. But that's everything I've really got to say about them, guys. Uh, it's an awesome Monday program release. If Runny Fire would make them in a size US 16 and 17, I would consider picking them up. <laughs> So, until the next Kith video, until the next Kith Monday program, until the Kith collection, guys, I'll catch you later.